Top 10 Actors Died From Cheers Welcome to Past Us. Today, we'll talk about top 10 actors who died from Cheers. Cheers ranks near the very top of any list of the all-time great TV comedies. Cheers is an American sitcom television series that ran on NBC from September 30th, 1982 to May the 20th, 1993, with a total of 275 half-hour episodes across 11 seasons. A mixture of comedy and soap opera romance, it followed the lives of the staff and patrons of Cheers, a fictional bar in Boston. Here's the list of top 10 actors who died from Cheers, but before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Philip Perlman Philip Perlman, whose Emmy-winning daughter Rhea got him a job on a bar stool on the long-running sitcom Cheers, setting in motion a late-blooming second career as a character actor, Perlman became an actor after retiring from a career in the toy and doll business. Perlman is notable for his recurring role as Phil on the American sitcom television series Cheers. Phil showed up in a total of 142 episodes between 1986 and 1993, which constitutes more than half the entire run of the series. He also played the same character in one episode of its spin-off, Frasier. Perlman also appeared in several films, including Throw Mama from the Free 1987, Out of Sight 1998, and Man on the Moon 1999, which he mostly appeared in with his son-in-law, Danny DeVito. Perlman died in April 2015 on, at Los Angeles, California after a long illness at the age of 95. Number 9. Albert Rosen Albert Rosen was an American actor. He acted in several films in the 1940s, then in the 1970s was a production supervisor on the TV show What's My Line. Again in the 1980s, he acted in television series and films in minor roles, including the cafeteria concession, stand, attendant in the sitcom Night Court, and his recurring character Al, or Big Al, in the sitcom Cheers. Al was a frequently seen briefly through much of the series run. He was usually seen sitting at the back end, usually dressed in a suit or played blazer, and almost always with his trademark hat. He appeared on Cheers from 1983 to 1989 in 74 episodes. Other than Cheers, his biggest claim to fame was a brush with some other comedy legends. He was a stuntman for the Three Stooges. He died of cancer in Hollywood on August 1990, California at the age of 80. Season 9, episode 10 of Cheers, Norm and Cliff's Excellent Adventure, is dedicated to Rosen with To Our Friend Al Rosen, shown during the credits. Number 8. Nicholas Colasanto Nicholas Colasanto was an American actor and television director who is best known for his role as Coach Ernie Pantuso in the American television sitcom Cheers. He also served in the United States Navy during World War II and later attended the American Academy of Dramatic Art in the 1950s. Colasanto died of a heart attack at his home on February 12, 1985 at the age of 61. After his death, Colasanto had missed the filming of the last five episodes and his absence was explained in the show as a vacation. Bartending chores were being temporarily handled by Ted Danson, who plays bar manager Sam Malone, and by co-stars Shelley Long and Rhea Perlman, who play the barmaids. Number 7. Harry Anderson Harry Laverne Anderson was a professional magician and actor. He appeared several times on television as a magician, but the appearance that got him noticed for Cheers was on Saturday Night Live, starting in 1981. He displayed a trick there of his own invention, where he stuck a needle through the skin in his forearm. On Cheers, he played Harry the Hat. He appeared four times in the first two seasons, once also serving as a technical advisor on the episode Pick a Con, Any Con. In 1984, he began starring in his own series Night Court, the show for which he is best remembered as an actor. In late January 2018, Anderson had a bout of influenza and subsequently suffered several strokes. On April 16, 2018, he died in his sleep of a stroke due to influenza and heart disease at his home in Asheville, North Carolina, at the age of 65. Number 6. Jay Thomas Jay Thomas, the good-natured comic actor who starred on the sitcoms Murphy, Brown, and Cheers, Thomas was a memorable guest star on the classic sitcom Cheers from 1987 to 1989, appearing in nine episodes as Eddie Lebec, the hockey-playing husband of Rhea Perlman's waitress Carla. Lebec was a French-Canadian goalie for the Boston Bruins, who meets Carla during a winning streak and suddenly goes on a losing streak when they start dating. They eventually get back together and, being superstitious, break up with each other before every Bruins game he starts. And just before he'd star in the CBS romantic sitcom Love and War and land a recurring role as love interest Jerry Gold and Murphy Brown, a true Hollywood character, Thomas injected his larger-than-life personality into nearly 100 TV shows and movies including Ray Donovan and later launched a second career as a radio talk show host, dishing dirt about his years on set. J. Thomas died of throat cancer on August 24, 2017 in Santa Barbara, California at the age of 69. Number 5. Keen Curtis Keen Holbrook Curtis was an American character actor. Keen Curtis, the Tony-winning actor who played Daddy Warbucks in one production of Annie on Broadway and was the upstairs restaurant owner on the television show Cheers. His many television credits include The Magician as quirky columnist Max Pomeroy opposite Bill Bixby, Bill Bixby Gypsy starring Bette Midler. He died on October 13, 2002. He was 79. The cause was complications from Alzheimer's disease, the Los Angeles Times reported. 
Number 4. Roger Rees Roger Rees was a Welsh actor and director widely known for his stage work. He won an Olivia Award and a Tony Award for his performance as the lead in The Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby. He also received Obie Awards for his role in The End of the Day and as co-director of Peter and The Starcatcher. Rees was posthumously into the American Theatre Hall of Fame in November 2015. Roger Rees, 1944-2015, played Robin Colcourt on Cheers. He's also known for being in 1993's Robin Hood, Men in Tights. His last role was an Anton Shell in the musical version of The Visit, opposite Cheetah Rivera, which opened on Broadway on 23rd April 2015 and closed on 14th June 2015. Rees left the production in May 2015 owing to his illness. Rees, at the age of 71, died at his home in New York on July 10th, 2015. The cause was cancer, said publicist Rick Maramontes. Number 3. Majori Armstrong Marjorie said Post died Saturday in Los Angeles after a years-long battle with cancer. Number 2. Robert Prosky Robert Prosky, December 13, 1930 to December 8, 2008, was an American actor and comedian. He played Grandpa Fred in Gremlins 2, The New Batch, 1990. Prosky appeared in Thief, Christine, Hanky Panky, The Natural, Hoffa, Broadcast News, Things Change, The Great Outdoors, Loose Cannons, Rudy, Mrs. Doubtfire, Green Card, and Dead Man Walking. In addition to appearing in films, Prosky appeared as a regular on Hill Street Blues, Danny and Veronica's Closet. He was considered for the role of Martin Crane in Frasier and later made a guest appearance in the series as a reclusive writer. He was offered the role of Coach Ernie Pantuso on Cheers, but turned it down. He later portrayed Rebecca Howie's father on the same show. On December 8, 2008, Prosky died at age 77, five days before his 78th birthday, from complications following a heart procedure. Number 1. Anne Hanny Anne Ryan Thomas Hanny was an American stage and screen actress. She was best known for her roles in Mrs. Doubtfire and Liar Liar, as well as Alberta Meacham on the sitcom Mama's Family. She was born on March 4, 1934. Anne Hanny held prominent roles acting on stage, on the screen, and on TV. All these achievements came in her mid-40s after she had raised a daughter and buried a husband. It wasn't until after she had packed her daughter off to college and the maid quit, as she said, that she decided to try her hand at acting. She was born in Memphis, Tennessee and studied drama, radio and TV at the University of North Carolina, where she met her husband, John Hanny. She did apply her schooling briefly at a Memphis television station, but soon settled down with her husband and devoted herself to family life. She played the character of Miss Glider in Cheers. She died on May 26, 2001, Studio City, California, United States. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.